guys welcome back okay so today's video is going to be really short and sweet of course you know the theme is green today okay i wanted to do a quick green eye look i put on a green sweatshirt putting on some green sneakers so we're gonna be matchy matchy today but i wanted to actually try out this michaela and glam light collection but this is the smaller tin pan palette michaela pop 2 um very nice it's like that velvet type material and this is what the palette actually looks like on the back if you can see that but yeah very very cute really nice pretty packaging here and this is the color story so i fell in love with this color story as soon as i saw it i was like it's beautiful it's green but it's neutrals it has like this you know these beautiful amazing shimmers in here i really really love glam lights shimmers so i knew i would love these and this is like the simplest eye look i could have possibly done with this palette i mean i used two shades <laughs> three three shades out of this palette so yeah very very simple easy eye look to do but i just absolutely fell in love with this palette and wanted to try it out so let me go ahead and just show you guys some quick swatches and then we could jump into how i did this eye look so those are the swatches you guys as you can see very very pretty color story glam light shimmers are actually some of the best shimmers that i have encountered in a palette um, compared to like some of my amazing single shadows i purchased a lot of beautiful multi-chrome duochrome single shadows because they're so absolutely gorgeous but and you don't typically get those in palettes but with glam light their shimmers even though they're regular shimmers not any type of multi or duochromes are just amazing so vibrant so pigmented so easy to use and apply it's just crazy so i would say if you haven't tried glam lights palettes with their beautiful shimmers in them please do so and the michaela palettes have a lot of the really really gorgeous shimmers in them as well so anyways that's all i wanted to say about that um if you already have this palette take it out play with it enjoy it love it because it's a lot of fun you know i assume if you have this palette you like green but um also what i like to say um i don't really typically say it in my videos but i'm not here just encouraging people to buy a bunch of makeup or obtain a bunch of makeup because i have way more makeup than i could ever possibly use in a multitude of lifetimes but what I, my main focus is creating bold, beautiful, colorful looks, hence the name Colorful Camille. And because of that, I want you guys to just kind of take the eye looks that I do, maybe grab palettes that you already have, shadows that you already have. And if you like the look, try to create it with some of the shades that you already have. Um, if you are curious about my thoughts on a palette, then yeah, I'm here to just tell you you know, whether I like it or not, or my experience with it. But because I have had so many years now at this point purchasing eyeshadow, I don't typically buy palettes or shadows that I don't think I'm going to like. I'm very familiar with what I like now. And I can really just kind of look at a palette or if I know a brand, know whether or not I'm going to like the palette or buy or like the shadows to buy it. So you're not gonna get a lot of negative <laughs> um, reviews from me. I would say more so on the base products, you know, like foundations, powders, concealers, things like that. When I do try them out, those are things where you can really be surprised by the outcome on them. But as far as eyeshadow goes, I'm realizing that I have purchased and tried so much eyeshadow that I can kind of look at something and tell whether or not I'm going to like it, whether it be the color story, the, um, you know, just looking at the texture, the feel, the swatches, even a lot of people say, oh, you can't tell things from swatches. I can. <laughs> so, um, and just over time with experience, a palette that might not work for someone else, it might work for me just because I do my makeup and apply it differently. So just want to throw that out there that, you know, it's like with these different eyeshadows and palettes that come out and stuff, when I come on here and create looks for you guys, 
if you don't want to spend the money or you don't want to buy the palette, do like I do. I dupe a lot of palettes or, you know, I'll look and see, do I have those shades in my collection? Try it out, do a look, and then even decide, do I want that palette or do I need it? Even with all the palettes that I have and that I buy, there's a lot of palettes that I say no to, a lot that I look at and I'm like, no, I don't want that. So I know, shocking, right? So anyways, let's just go ahead and jump into this look. Just text, I know it's a toss up, oh, but I hate the fact that we lost such a the Uber pulling up on call. Tell me, as you trying to fall through? I'ma leave it up to you. What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you. No, we overdo what you're doing right now. Right now. Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking all oh, loud. I know I want you. Long time since the last time. Got a tab, we could run up. Knew you from the way, now we grown up. My look, yeah, made the realest most nervous. But if you want it, tap in. I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash land. We could keep the pace on slow jam. Don't leave me on red. Can we go back where we first began? No plans, all we have was the moment. Now I'm paid by the sentence Taking my time with it Baby, give me yours So I could get some butterflies trapped in your rib cage. Let me know we on the same page Give me with a text, voice, note, or an emoji Waiting on day for your name on the ID So if you want it, tap in I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash in And we could keep the face on slow Can we go back where we first began? No plans, all we have was the moment 